What's up, everyone? My name is Brendan. You're watching the channel to agree to disagree. Real opening credits. Let's do it. I'm waking up. I'm going to be doing my predictions for the NBA 2013 NBA playoffs semifinals round. Like I said, I would. I did my predictions on the first round uh, a couple weeks ago. And for I was right on every single pick except for one. And I'm actually a little surprised. It was I picked the Clippers over Memphis in six, I believe. And Memphis ended up taking it in six. We all know that. But for the most part, all seven of the other of my picks were right. So... I got a good sense of what I'm saying, so keep coming back. I'll keep doing predictions for every round. Let's start with Chicago and Miami. It's This is a hard one for me to really judge. I mean, I want Chicago to win because being a Knicks fan myself, I would rather see Chicago in the, fi uh, in the round before the NBA Finals rather than the Heat. This elite series could go either way. The Bulls are banged up right now, and they still don't have Derrick Rose. And the Heat, they got their big three, and we all know about them. And I'm going to give it to the Heat in six. I, there is still, I, I, I still have, a, I'm like 75% sure the Heat will win it in six. But that 25% says the Bulls could bring it to them and win it in seven. Who knows? We shall see. We're going to move over to the West really quick. Memphis and Oklahoma City. This is a really tough one because Oklahoma City does not have Westbrook anymore. He's out for the rest of the season with an injury. And Memphis, is they're pretty good. Oklahoma was number one seed, but that was when they had Westbrook running the floor. I'm going to still give it to Oklahoma. I, Kevin Durant's a champion. I think they'll win it in six. I think it'll be Oklahoma City in six. Durant is too much of a champion to not win it. Uh, here comes the really interesting series in the West is Golden State against San Antonio. San Antonio, for all you know, swept the Lakers, made them look like fools. And they're a very old team in Tony Parker and Duncan and all them, and they're very, very, very smart, and they've proven they are champions. They have been for quite a while now. Golden State, though, a very young, abrupt, very abrupt type of team being led by Stephen Curry, and Stephen Curry is just a joy to watch in the playoffs. I honestly can just sit down and watch him play. He's very entertaining. He's a very, very good basketball player and a rising star in this game. So, who's going to win this one? Golden State. I give it to Golden State in six or seven. I, I can't really decide which one I want. I think Stephen Curry, he's way too fast and good. And no one on San Antonio is going to be able to cover him and keep up with him the whole entire game. I just don't see it. So I will give it to Golden State in six or seven games. only reason I'm giving it, taking that long is because San Antonio does have a lot of weapons and they're just too, they're just, there's too many champions on that team for them not to give them a run, but Golden State in the end will prevail. So my West will end up being Golden State versus Oklahoma City for the finals. Now back to the East, my Knicks and Indiana Pacers. This is the hardest one. I've been thinking about it long and hard. Who was I going to say who's going to win this? <sighs> See, here's the issue with for the Knicks against Indiana. Indiana is a very large, very big physical team in the fact they have Hib Hibbert, Hansborough, Paul George, West. They're all very physical and all very tall and big. The Knicks don't really play a big matchup. They play uh, Mello at the four, and you got Tyson as your center or Kenyon Martin, but you usually play with a two-point guard system, and those are, you got Felton at 6'1", Frigioni and Kidd at 6'3". Meanwhile, the Indiana Pacers will be throwing four players at you that are all over 6'5". So it's going to be really, really rough for the New York Knicks. With that being said, the Knicks will win this series in seven games if 
if Carmelo Anthony gets out of this horrible shooting slump he's been, he's been like 10 for 30 for the past four games, and J.R. Smith gets out of his shooting slump, he's been terrible. If they can both go back to what they did during that winning streak at the end of the regular season, I, without a doubt, the Knicks will win this series. But it might take seven games. If they can't get out of those slumps and we still suffer and their shooting slumps are still doing terrible, Indiana will take it in six games. I won't. I honestly... I'm going to go. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt to the Knicks, their second seed. I'm going to give them my main choice to win the series. But if those the two X factors, Carmelo Anthony and J.R. Smith, do not do well and they stay in their shooting slumps, Indiana will take the series. So, we'll just have to wait and see. I will be doing a review predictions for the who's going to make it to the finals, come back in a week and a half or so when all of the teams are decided, and there will be another video up. If you like, let me know. Feedback. I didn't really get too in-depth with everything. I, I gave you my basic facts and my basic thoughts. Feedback down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me on any of my picks. If you have any little, if you have any issues on what anything I said, let me know. I love feedback. Subscribe, please. I always do sports reviews on many different sports, and just let me know if you agree to disagree.